45 days is the amount of time it takes to be completely finished with Town Hall 14 if you're strategic rushing. And this isn't BS, this isn't clickbait, I'm gonna show you proof of how that's actually done in this video. Now this upgrade guide is gonna be my best one yet because it is comprehensive for Town Hall 14. Not only am I gonna show you what to do with your builders day by day, but I'm also gonna show you what equipment you should be upgrading, what to do with your lab, what pets you should focus on, and how you should handle hero upgrades. So without further ado, let's get started. Now the first thing we need to do is to make sure that you have the minimum upgrades for Town Hall 13 done so you don't have any problems at Town Hall 14. This chart in the background will detail all the upgrades you should have done prior to starting anything in this guide. On the bottom are some optional upgrades because the spell factory is not that important unless you're going to use that particular spell and the workshop is 100% not important unless your clan relies on you for donations. Now some of you might be saying, hey BD, this looks really short, where are all the other upgrades? And this is just a reminder that this upgrade guide is specifically for strategic rushing, which is the fastest way to max an account in Clash of Clans. In short, we're going to the higher town hall levels pretty quickly so that we can get the best use out of our magic items and so that we can unlock things that we need to upgrade earlier rather than later. Now speaking of magic items, that is the next topic that we need to discuss. Currently the threshold for using a magic item is 12 days, so any upgrade that is longer than 12 days warrants the use of a magic item to complete. Now before the recent June time reductions, there were a lot of town hall 14 upgrades that met this threshold, but that's not the case anymore as I've already broken down in my time reductions video. But I'm going to take it a step further and I'm going to list all the upgrades that you need magic items for at Town Hall 14 and there are 6 of them. This chart breaks down the 6 upgrades that require magic items at Town Hall 14 as well as the amount of days it takes to complete the upgrades. Now you'll see that the laboratory is an optional upgrade and although it's not 12 days I think it is worth getting if you are upgrading during CWL and you want to use your Town Hall boost for example. Now the order of the upgrades don't matter as much but I would do the barracks and the dark barracks first as these would unlock new troops for you earlier. But what about all the upgrades that do not require magic items at Town Hall 14? Well this chart right here shows you all of those upgrades as well as how many there are and how long they are. Now once again you guys can see that the workshop is completely optional and of course I don't recommend that you upgrade it unless you are the philanthropist of your clan. Alright BD that's great and everything but you still haven't showed us how to finish these upgrades within 45 days. Well ladies and gentlemen I have it laid out for you right here day by day. This chart shows you exactly how you're going to split up all 6 of your builders to ensure that you're done within 45 days. If done absolutely perfectly, you can get it in 41 days, but of course with a little leeway I made it 45. Now there will be some of you out there who unfortunately don't have all 6 builders, don't feel bad. Or do. No I'm just joking, don't feel bad because I have this chart right here which lays out the plan for 5 builders. Unfortunately this will take you around 51 days if you do it perfectly, and we're not gonna get that 45 day mark, but I'm doing the best I can guys. Now on the other spectrum of things, if you have the gold pass, you can actually get this done around 34 to 36 days, which is absolutely ridiculous guys, that's really fast for Town Hall 14. And trust me when I say, these are all the upgrades you would need. Everything else can be done at Town Hall 15 and it would be wasting time when you could be increasing your power and progressing your account faster. And for anyone who's doubting this strategy, go ahead and look at this chart again. You can see that there's only a handful of items that get good magic item value at Town Hall 14, so the less time you spend here, the better. Now a lot of you are super smart and realize that we haven't mentioned a really important thing and that is the heroes. So what are we doing with heroes and why are they not in the chart? And the reason for this is because we are not upgrading heroes at Town Hall 14 and I firmly stand by this for a few reasons. First of all, you guys saw in this chart that we get bad magic item value and we need to move. Second of all, some people that I've spoken to have started upgrading heroes because they have maxed sets of equipment already. But as a new Town Hall 14, that's impossible because you just unlocked new equipment levels so this doesn't apply to you. Third of all, you have a really good sink for all that dark elixir you're going to get and of course it's the pet house, which is no joke when it comes to upgrade costs, so you don't have to worry about wasting dark elixir. 
All in all, it is better for you to skip hero upgrades for the time being, but there is one exception. Now at the time this video is being released, we're actually in the unlimited heroes event, which allows heroes to be up while we are upgrading them. And ironically, this is the only event where I think it's completely okay for you to go ahead and upgrade your heroes because you're going to be able to get a lot of levels in and you won't be punished for upgrading them. Now this event isn't going to last forever, so if you're watching this after the event is over, definitely don't upgrade your heroes. But if the event is on, it's completely okay for you to slow down and upgrade your heroes because once again, you're not being punished for upgrading them at all. So that's it for the hero conversation, but obviously we have more things to talk about in relation to them, such as the pets and the equipment. Let's start with the pets. The idea here is very simple. At Town Hall 14, you get four different pets, but two of them almost never see any sort of play at the higher levels. So you can save yourself a lot of resources and time by simply focusing the unicorn and the owl. Now you can get both of these pets to level 6, which would take about 44 days, so you'd finish right on time for Town Hall 15, or you could just get the unicorn to level 10, which takes 49 days. Now I'll admit, I'm a little bit shaky on whether or not the owl is used at higher levels of play, but those are the two options that I would recommend, and if you're not 100% sure, you can just go all in on the unicorn. So we've talked about heroes and pets, let's go ahead and talk about equipment. Town Hall 14 unlocks the max level for common equipment as well as level 21 for epic equipment, so I recommend that you guys get going on those. To simplify things, I've just made a chart of priorities on what you should be upgrading and hopefully you guys can get these upgrades done. Obviously, people use all sorts of combinations for their equipment, but I just put the ones that are generally used in a lot of attacks here. The Hog Rider Puppet is here early on so that you guys can grind some levels early on at this Town Hall level because the Haste File unlocks at the next Town Hall level and you don't want to have two weak pieces of equipment at the same time. And the reason I didn't list any more upgrades on this chart is because we're only going to be at Town Hall 14 for 45 days ideally, so we're not going to have that much time to invest ores into our equipment. Speaking of ores, by the way, what league should you be farming in, especially considering that we have tons of building upgrades to do? Now obviously the higher league is better for ores, but at higher leagues it can be a little bit difficult to get resources as well. So instead we can use this chart from ClashSpot.com and see that the Town Hall 14s in green here are heavily concentrated in the high 3000s and low 4000s. Now you get a decent amount of ore per day here and you should be able to get plenty of of loot since this is where a lot of Town Hall 14s are. Thus, I would recommend that you stay somewhere between 3500 and 4100. And obviously, if you can still push higher while maintaining the resources for your upgrades, then definitely do so. Now with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about the final topic of the video, the lab upgrades. This is going to be the loosest portion of the guide because lab upgrades are really dependent on what army you have been focusing on up until this point. As long as you have one good army and you're developing a second one, you should be good to go. However, you do need to be mindful about how you spend your magic items and I made this chart here so you guys can see some of the most common upgraded troops that require magic items. This chart on the other hand shows common lab upgrades that don't require magic items and these upgrades should be done manually. In short, the 12 day upgrades still applies for magic items and you should be upgrading whatever army or armies that you have been developing on your account. So basically I just got fined because the builders in my village they unionized because they weren't being used efficiently enough. Listen guys, I don't want this to happen to you guys either so definitely watch this video right here so that your builders can get the most efficiency that they can and they don't end up having to do this. Yeah? No, did you hear? No, seriously. Yeah, I, no, I, I literally just got off the phone. It's Kyle, man. He wanted to work on the Archer Tower. I told him to do the Bomb Tower. I mean, bro, do your job. You know what I'm saying? 